It's Monday, May 20th, 2024. Let's talk about the news. From the New York Times, Israel's wartime government phrase is frustration with Netanyahu grows. A politically centrist member of Israel's war cabinet, Benny Gantz, announced over the weekend that he would leave the government if Prime Minister Netanyahu doesn't present a plan for the future of the war in Gaza by June 8th. This ultimatum is being seen as an indication that the temporary alliance of necessity between political parties in Israel following Hamas's attack on the country on October 7th is beginning to fray, and that Netanyahu's seeming lack of a plan for what happens after Israeli forces root out the last of Hamas's leadership in the Gaza Strip is a broad cause for consternation. The country's defense minister recently demanded that Netanyahu make a pledge to not establish a military government in Gaza, which he worries is where things are headed, and which is a situation he said would be untenable for many reasons. Netanyahu, in response, has accused Gantz of supporting Israel's defeat in the conflict against Hamas. From Al Jazeera, UN urges US to stop forced returns to Haiti after latest deportation flight. The UN Refugee Agency has asked the United States government to stop forcibly returning Haitian refugees to Haiti, as doing so puts those refugees at life-threatening risk due to widespread gang violence. This call for a change in policy came after the U.S.'s most recent deportation flight last week, and the concern is that Haiti is basically under the control of a slew of gangs, which unified against the government in recent months. The U.N. estimates that 362,000 people, about half of them children, are internally displaced in Haiti right now. And the UN's refugee agency is asking the US to redesignate Haiti for a temporary protective status, which grants Haitian refugees temporary permission to stay and work in the US. This status is currently set to expire in August. And from Reuters, France mobilizes police to regain control of New Caledonia Airport Road. In the wake of several days of at times violent and destructive riots, French police have cleared barricades from the main road leading to the airport in the New Caledonian capital, Noumea, though officials say it will still be a few days before all the debris has been cleared. The French territory's main airport is still closed because of unrest, and these protests, which sparked the rioting, were catalyzed by a constitutional amendment that would allegedly dilute the vote of indigenous people by allowing French people who have lived in New Caledonia for 10 years to vote in provincial elections, something pro-independence from France indigenous groups say is an attempt to prevent their movement from ever resulting in a decoupling from European governance. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts at understandery.com.